I like promise we're gonna go ahead and do the the mu what is it muffin? So uh, I'm gonna leave that to the main star of the show. <laughs> so um, if any questions about all the ingredients that she's gonna tell you, go ahead and comment on the bottom, and then you know she can she answer back or I can answer back. Okay. Pretty much so. everything that I have here is what I'm gonna be using, but I'm gonna start by um, putting four bananas. Right, perfect. This is how you want them to look. Okay, they're gonna be sweet. So not too much sugar, you're not gonna need a lot of sugar for this. Okay, so the four bananas are gonna go right in here. I had a little piece extra that my daughter cut in half, so I'm gonna put it in there as well. But it's four, normally, you know, you can make as many as you need. Today the recipe calls for four bananas. And yes, I could put this in a blender. I know, I could put it in a blender. But I like to do it like this. It's one cup of the soy milk. Let's put everything in there. Put two whole eggs. These are so good. I can have this every day for breakfast. And two egg whites. So I'm only going to use the egg whites on, the, on these other two eggs, okay? So two whole eggs and two egg whites. And I'm sorry about the way I look, but I, like he said, I just got out of the pool. But I have promised you guys that I was going to be making this uh, protein muffins. So I wanted to make sure to, that I would do it now because tomorrow I work. So. And I need some for my breakfast. So two whole eggs, two egg whites, four bananas, and a cup of uh, the soy milk. I have here two um, tablespoons of brown sugar. Let me start putting this back. I think it's a little bit too whole bad. Since I'm making a lot of them, because I want to make sure that I have some for me and some for uh, DJ Fresco. Okay. So two cups, two cups of the soy milk. I forgot that I'm doing uh, this, double the recipe. So two cups of the soy milk, four bananas. So I'm gonna need to add some more stuff in here because I'm doubling the recipe. back in the refrigerator. So since I'm gonna use, instead of three scoops of protein, I'm gonna do six because I'm making for me and for Tigre Fresco, so I need to double up my recipe. And I have my little, this is the last time I made them, they came out so good that I wrote every single step that I did. So, but what I have here, I was doing it, this is like a single recipe, I'm doing it double. So I forgot, and that's why I had only put one cup, but it's actually two cups of the soy milk. And I'm gonna put, one, I already have one in there. I'm gonna put six of the, uh, the protein. So two, three, four, five, and six. put two more of the brown sugar like I said because I'm doubling the recipe so it's gonna be four um, four spoons of the brown sugar I keep it in the refrigerator because we have a lot of little ants in this house I guess because of the kids they leave everything laying around I always 
put a little pinch of salt, like a little teaspoon. So this is just baking powder. Maybe like a little spoon like this, uh, one and a half more or less. This is vanilla extract. As much as you like. I love the taste anyways. I keep this in the refrigerator all the time. A lot of cinnamon. These are pretty much optional. If you want to put the vanilla, if you want to put the cinnamon, I like them both. I like the taste. I'm gonna put um, instead of uh, we're gonna put six of these uh, spoons of uh, peanut butter. Make it a no normal spoon. Don't put now, like don't go crazy. Okay, this is one. Mouth is watering already. Four, five, and six. And I forgot to get more of the pecan chips. You can use walnuts. So I'm gonna put in this, whatever I have in here. This is to your taste. This doesn't have to be a chip. And I'm gonna put, um, I need more eggs because I had started off with a single, uh, and I decided to do double the recipe, so I'm going to put two more egg whites. Let me bring this out. Okay. I'll, I'll be calculating like the macros on this, like how many grams of protein, how many grams of carbs and fat for you guys later on. I'm not gonna do it now because I really don't have the time, um, but I'll try to calculate it so you have an idea because I normally don't eat just one. I eat like two or three with my uh, coffee in the morning um, to get enough of everything, okay? So I'll calculate it for you guys. It might seem like a lot, but it's really not. Once you blend all these ingredients in here, uh, you get a lot of muffins. So when you divide it, you know, each muffin is not gonna be very high in calories or anything. So two more and two more. So two whole and two um, egg whites. That's a total of four whole eggs and four egg whites. And then, so you don't go crazy, I'm gonna pretty much go over really quick what I have in here. Um, I used four bananas. I'm reading my little cheat sheet right there and uh, so I have um, in here I have four bananas I have six spoons of peanut butter I have four spoons of uh, brown sugar I have two cups of soy milk I have six scoops of protein I have uh, four whole eggs and I have four egg whites I have a little bit of salt I have vanilla extract and I have like a little spoon you can say a teaspoon and a half um, of the baking powder. I 
okay so this is what I have in here so far I'm gonna mix everything up oh and I have the cinnamon this is everything is to your taste like the cinnamon the vanilla extract and the pecan pieces that I put um, they're all to your taste okay I have this pan already pre-greased already with the uh, the pan baking flour baking uh, made with flour I guess it's just for baking so I have it already set up so when I mix it mix this then I'm going to be putting it in here. Hopefully we'll get like three or four trays like this. Remember guys, the bananas have to be very, um, how do you say it, ripened, right? So, so once everything is, um, all the ingredients are mixed, and don't worry about the clumps that you see. I mean, if you have a blender and you want to put it in the blender, that's fine. It's not going to make a difference. The product is going to be the same. Okay? I don't worry about the little clumps anyways. That, that all dissolves it. Okay? So I have my tray ready. I'm going to put some of my little um, cupcakes, I guess. Papers. I don't think I'm going to have enough, so... So pretty much, I am ready to put this in the oven. Remember to fill this little uh, spaces, maybe like three fourths of the space. Leave a little bit of uh, empty on the top. Okay, once you have it ready, you have to have your oven preheated to um, 350. Mine is still preheating, I forgot to put it when I started. So it's still doing that. Once it's ready at 350, then um, We'll bake them in there maybe like for 10, from 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the oven, okay? You just make sure you get a little toothpick and you check it, put it in the center, and if it comes out dry, it's perfect and it's done. So I hope you like, guys um, like the recipe. Um, any questions, please just ask um, and enjoy. Might take 10, 12, 15 minutes. Just get a toothpick, put it in the center. When it comes out dry, then you know your muffins are ready. Um, and remember this, you can have for breakfast, but you can also, um, it's very easy, very convenient to just grab one or two um, if you're hungry instead of grabbing something else, like a little snack. Uh, so I'm gonna put them in there, and then I'll show you guys the final product once they're done. Actually, let me put it on the bottom because I'm baking. Okay, on 350, and we'll come back in 15 minutes, actually 12 minutes to check. It's up to me to finish the job because she wants to take a shower. So she told me uh, when it hits 12 minutes, oh, 11 minutes, go ahead and take it out. So oh, let me see the first batch. Check for the toothpick. Is it all cooked? I don't know how to check that. I guess it's cooked. So yeah, my Christmas glove. Yep. Okay. Let me uh, get this tree out of here. Where do I set it on? Okay, like you can tell, I don't do this much cooking. <laughs> I do a lot of eating. So where did I set it on? Okay. Oh, let me take it out of here. Oh, it's hot. Oh, I just stuck my finger in there. And put it here. And let me close this. So, here is the final product. Sorry that I had to up. Uh, finish but it is kind of late and we have to work tomorrow and it took longer than we thought so this is the final product now you let them cool and the good thing about this she's gonna make about I think that batch there uh, gives you like another I think she does like a total of uh, I don't know 20 25 muffins and the good thing is you could put them in the refrigerator let them uh, you can eat them they'll last like Maybe a week, week and a half. You can have them for a snack. You can have them for breakfast. And it tastes really good. And you're getting a lot of protein. I guess she's going to... Uh, I know she was going to calculate how much proteins you guys were going to get per muffin and calories. But she had to take a shower. So I had to finish the project. So um, 
there you go like we promised we did the muffin video and um, if any questions go ahead and you know comment below um, and then you ask you know I guess um, she could answer you or I'll answer you because I'm gonna put this video on my channel and her channel because there's a lot of people a lot of uh, women that follow her in, in fitness and they don't follow me so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my channel and her channel so thank you guys yeah.